everybody, my name is Mr. McCubing, and in this video, I will be assembling a Rubik's Cube inside of a jar. As you can see, like, it doesn't come out. Um, so, um, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing in this video, and it's kind of going to be a tutorial, too. Um, so, yeah, before we get into the video, though, um, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, subscribe, it's, it's free, and, uh, like... And if you click the bell, then you will be uh, notified for all of the upcoming videos. So, yeah. Just subscribe, like, turn on post notifications, and yeah. And, like, worst case scenario, you just unsubscribe later, so may as well. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear, and who keep what is written in it, for the time is near. Revelations. So we got the cube disassembled, um, and so yeah. Basically, I think the first step is, so I already took off, I already, I already took off one, uh, one of these. Kind of gonna be experimenting how fast forward a lot, but yeah. So yeah, I'll be fast forwarding a lot. It's just gonna be an experimentation process. Oh yeah, one thing I decided to do. Which is another reason I redid it, is put cotton balls at the bottom. I thought that would be kind of a cool little add on. Just a cool little add on to, and also to fill up some space. So. Okay, so now we got this little like two by two by three block. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Okay. Also, the cotton balls will kind of hold it up so I don't have to like tilt it and try to do it at the same time. So that's another. Also, recording it before, or doing it before gave me a more experience for doing it this time. So I know a bit more of what I should be doing. I'm using a, a Xing Xiao Mr. M for this. It's just a cube I have laying around that I don't solve anymore because I have a better one. Uh, so, but it is magnetic, so that is huge advantage. It's a huge advantage because it like pieces you won't have to just like try to balance them on there. They actually just kind of stick together so that's a big advantage. So okay now it's time to put this piece on the side. The first time it took me like over an hour to get to this step, just like experimenting with different things, and I found that this is the best way to take off two, two of these things, and then build like a, a two by two by three, and then uh, and then add so and then put it in, and then add those three little right there, but leave this part not there so you can turn it later. Um, I think, I'm not sure the measurement of this jar. Um, I'll put it on the screen. Okay, yeah, uh, that's probably enough. Uh, now we put this on. If you're having 
having trouble getting that on or if you like drop it uh just get some tweezers and try to get it now i just kind of rotated it so the to be red side is on top and i kind of had to turn that piece And the reason you don't need to do that before you turn it is because you can't. So you gotta kind of have it to get it at an angle. This is one of the hardest parts. Fast forward. Okay, so I got it in this position where it's like kind of there. So now I think when I put my edge piece on there, it'll stick. I'm not sure why it's doing that. It doesn't do it when I assemble it normally. It may just have something to do with uh, the this part not being there. I don't know. Um, Alright, yeah. There we go. So now we got um, a whole two layers done. Um, so now basically this is our, the easiest part. So if you made it this far, then like don't stop because this part's pretty easy. So basically all I do is like I insert one corner, and especially if it's magnetic, this is super easy. It may be a bit harder if it's not magnetic. I would recommend using like a like this was on this cube was only like I mean eight dollars or something. Especially if you already have one that you don't even use, then you may as well. So I put a corner on, I put an edge on. Okay, got a corner and an edge. Then I put another corner on, adjacent to the edge I just put on. Now, so I'm basically going in a circle. Now I put the edge on. And don't worry about this piece yet. We'll put that on at the very end. So now I'm going to put my corner on. Okay, now I'm going to put a edge on. So you should start with a corner and then end with an edge. Okay, you just kind of push it in there. Okay, and it's all done. Except for this piece. And this piece is, this part is actually kind of easy. I recommend, uh, some have springs, some don't. Just put the spring string uh, the spring on the screw put the screw through the hole in uh, this piece and then just kind of just kind of lower it in all at once and then it's just kind of setting in there I'll get your screwdriver align it and just screw it in okay that should be enough now all we have to do is take our cinder piece, this part the tweezers may come in handy, uh, but they may just be getting in the way, not necessary, it's just up to you. So just kind of put it on and then push it down. Okay. And I mean, that's basically it. It's pretty cool. Um, you can put the lid to your jar on if you want. That, or you don't have to. 
I'm just gonna put mine on my shelf. Just put it on display. Pretty neat piece. So there you go. And that is how you put a Rubik's Cube inside a jar. Okay, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope it was helpful if you wanted to assemble your own. Um, but yeah, so pretty cool just thing just put on the shelf. Um, and yeah, um, before you leave though, don't leave, don't leave. Um, uh, we're just going to do a quick prayer. Dear God, I pray for all of those with COVID. Um, I pray uh, for the leaders in our world that you would give them wise, uh, uh, help them make wise decisions. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. All right. Uh, as I said in the intro, make sure to like and subscribe. Worst, worst case scenario, you unsubscribe later. Um, so just, yeah, may as well do it now before you forget. Bye.